Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you how you can make a DIY space heater with just some hot sand and a heat powered stove fan. Alright, before I get started, let me first show you a few images of the three sand batteries I'm going to be making and the three heat powered stove fans that I'm going to be using. These three fans actually run just on the heat produced by the sand. I've got three that I put together, different shapes and sizes, and then I've got three different heat part stove fans, and I'll kind of mix and match them and show you them running. Here's a quick test of the fans. All of them working good. It's working great. It's blowing a nice warm breeze. It's catching all the heat that's rising up from the sand and the pot and blowing it straight out into the room. All you do is drop it in, wait for it to soak up the heat of the sand, and they start. three fifty one three fifty Fahrenheit one seventy seven Celsius nice I'm going to show you this a little later in the video but this is a hard copper metal strip that goes all the way down into the sand so you can tap into the heat of the sand at any level instead of just on the top if you go with a wider pan like this it captures even more heat I'm loving this little fan pushes a ton of air All right, it's been about three hours. It's just kind of warm now. That feels almost exactly like just beach sand and the summer sun now. By the way, you can heat the sand a bunch of different ways. Stove top, oven, campfire, rocket stove outside, or even a Fresnel lens if you want. Here's one quick idea if you want to tap into the sand, the heat of the sand, all the way down. Just use a scrap copper strip or aluminum flashing, something like that. Put it in there, bend this at a 90 degree angle. Now it'll conduct all the heat up the copper strip and into the bottom of a fan. That'd actually be a good way, say you want to run this fan more as a cooling fan in the summer. You could do something like that. But additionally, use some insulation or a cap on the top of this and insulate this maybe in a larger bucket, say in a five gallon bucket or something. And then this would be the only part that would be sticking out, of course laid flat with the fan on it. So the fan would essentially just be blowing around room temperature air and you'd be running that fan on a sand battery. You can actually buy the TEG chip and the motor and things like that separately. So I'm going to do that with some heat sinks. That'll be a future vid.